Hey guys, welcome back. Or if you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Kirial. I'm 25, I'm from Wales and obsessed with makeup. Everyone is welcome here, so feel free to join along. But today we are playing with makeup as we do all the time. <laughs> Today I wanted to play around with a few new bits and pieces and make this all affordable makeup and drugstore. I recently did the same with my high-end products. So I thought it's only fair to do it with drugstore as well. To be honest, some of my favorite products are drugstore. So I'm excited to get this face sorted. Also guys, by the way, I caved. <laughs> if you recently saw my makeup wish list video, these were in there and I decided to buy them. <laughs> I've got the new Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look Palette. If you wanna know what else is on my release radar, I'll leave it in the eye over here. If you're interested but uh yeah i caved so we're gonna be trying these today oh, look how pretty they are guys how could i not please explain because well i just could not <laughs> but yeah i was thinking about doing maybe like a fresh face because it's very warm today i want to be like glowy and dewy so yeah without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling and we'll get right on to it okay i'm just gonna pin this hair back because i gotta be doing my face first so to prime a little bit and also add some hydration i'm actually gonna go in with a setting spray first of all this is the nyx dewy finish setting spray I'm just gonna refresh my face a little can someone please tell me how you don't get it in your hair you know this is one of the most extra things i've done <laughs> I just, my hands have oils in them and I don't want to get my hair oily, you know? So this is the next best thing. <laughs> so glamorous. <laughs> the primer, I'm actually going to go in with this baby. I haven't actually used this in ages. It's the Unicorn Primer Drops Beauty Elixir by Barry M. This is one of my favourite primers ever, just in general. So much so, I'm pretty much running out of it. <laughs> I can never actually pick this up with a pipette. I think someone said when I reviewed this and compared it to the Fasali, stop putting the pipette on your skin. It's making me cringe. I was like, it's not coming out of the dropper. I don't know what else you expect me to do. <laughs> also, it's only going on my face. Like, calm down. Like, don't do this if you're doing client's makeup, please. <laughs> it's very unhygienic, but it's just going on my face, you know, like, who cares? Feels so good on the skin. Also, smells amazing. Such a good primer. Just for a little bit of pore filling, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Paula Study Primer and just push it in my more porous areas. For foundation, I really wanted to use fresh wear, but I've just used that in a video, so I'm refusing to do that. I wanna use more of my collection. So I think I remember really liking this. I haven't used it in a while. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This is in the shade 95 Fair Porcelain. I'm actually gonna mix in some glow drops. This is the L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour drops, and this is in the shade uh, 01 Sparkling Love. Goldy champagne kind of color. It's really pretty. I'm gonna add a few drops of this in on the back of my hand and then mix it all up and let's just apply it to my face. I'm hopefully going to do a little bit of editing outside today so I thought this foundation would be a good idea because it's got SPF in it and it is glorious sunshine outside. Keep me protected. I'm thinking this probably would have been better with a sponge but that's fine. Just applying it and then like evening it out with my sponge. Wow I'm looking so glowy <laughs> on camera. That's fine. That's what I wanted. I'm very aware I kind of look naked right now. You guys know I'm not because you saw my top in the beginning, but it's cut off in the shot. So I am wearing stuff still, okay. <laughs> For concealer today, I really wanted to try the e.l.f. hydrating concealer again because I know I didn't have the best first impression of it, but I thought about mixing in the I Heart Revolution concealer. This is the Heartbreakers concealer as well because I really like the formula of this. We'll see how I feel first of all just with this. And I'm going to try blending it out with a brush this time because the sponge wasn't my favourite so we'll see. Just going to apply a little bit, not too much. Looks a tad darker than my actual foundation so it may need lightening but it's fine. I just want to try it out right now. See what kind of coverage we can get, you know? Yeah, I think I'm already liking the coverage a little bit more with a brush. Seems to go a lot further. I kind of want to lighten it a little bit. So I may go in with the Makeup Revolution concealer anyway, just for a little bit of brightening. Looking glowy at the house today. <laughs> It's nice to know you can get that kind of like fresh skin look with affordable products, you know? Go in with the Heartbreakers concealer a little bit. This isn't too brightening, but it's slightly lighter. I took the stopper out of this concealer because I couldn't get enough product on the doe foot and it was the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> this concealer is quite liquidy and so it now goes everywhere. Would not recommend just keep dipping, okay? <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated because no matter how glowy your foundation, the best way to hydrate a complexion is water. Especially if you're cooped up inside, I tend to just stay in my one room. So I make sure to have a jug of water. This just has orange in it. But I know I won't forget 
to drink my water then because it's constantly here. Look at me giving healthcare tips like I'm a healthy person. I'm really not. I'm not doing anything revolutionary. Okay, I'm just drinking my water. Yay. <laughs> Gold star for me. Okay. <laughs> this isn't the most high coverage either, but it's just gonna give me that little bit of a boost, you know? Just using the excess on any areas I feel like need a little bit more coverage. I have quite a few red spots at the moment, which isn't ideal, but oh well. I'm gonna add the tiniest, and I mean the tiniest amount. I'm going in with this, which looks way too dark, and you're right, it is. <laughs> but I really love the tone of it. It's a little bit more cool toned, so I feel like it works well. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. And I'm gonna go in sparingly with this because I can go overboard, like one of my most recent videos where I looked like crazy bronze. That was this. So <laughs> you don't need a lot if you're very fair. I'm literally just gonna add a few little lines like that. That's probably too much in itself. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend it out. If it's too much, just go over it with your magic eraser, aka your beauty sponge, and it just blends it all together and it doesn't look too crazy. It's getting a bit more shape on my moon face right now, you know? I need a little something. And I'm keeping it really far back. I'm not bringing it really forward at all. I'm gonna apply that to my forehead as well. My forehead is where I can get a little bit zealous with applying too much product. So pretty much all the time is my forehead. I'm gonna try and slightly contour my nose with this. Um, we shall see how this goes. <laughs> I might also do the little like facelift trick with this as well. Add a little bit of definition on the temples. And the lips, you know, just for the hell of it. I want to look a little bit more pouty. Juicy, I think is the word I'm going for. <laughs> with all the glow. Okay, I went a bit too crazy on my nose there and now it looks like I've got a cat's nose or something on the end. <laughs> she'll fix that. Okay, well that's one. It's fine. Let's just calm this down a little, shall we? <laughs> okay, perfect. Just a little summon summon. What I really like about this is, why did I decide to try and talk when I'm doing my lips? <laughs> I don't know. What I really like about this product is it's like a brush tip applicator. So you can kind of use it like a little paintbrush. It's fun. <laughs> also the product's just really good and it's really cheap. You can get this on Amazon for like three or four pounds, I think. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my lips, by the way, I'm kind of overdrawing them, but with this product, cause it gives a little bit of a shadow. This isn't for everyone, but I just like doing it. <laughs> when you're blending this, pat it or bring it in towards the lip because you can always get rid of the product that's on your lip. But if you stop spreading it out, you're gonna look like you got a beard or a mustache and that's not your fault. And maybe that's the look you're going for. But if you're not going for that look, blend it in. <laughs> Direction is key. I wanna go in with a little bit of blush because I'm using cream blush again. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Cheek Heat again. This is in the shade 15 Nude Burn. And I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers. So excited to get my hands on the Fenty ones. I have ordered them, so they should be coming anytime soon. Taking this onto the nose as well, making myself look like I've actually been outside. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead to kind of merge it into the bronze color that I've added. Make it look a little bit more natural, you know? I watched Wayne Goss's recent video, which was about bronzing, and he used a little bit of blush. And I guess it makes sense, especially on someone who is fair, because I don't naturally tan or anything like that, as I said in my last video. And I feel like I can get away with a little bit more blush, you know? So I'm just kind of putting it everywhere now. <laughs> One thing I don't like about these blushes is there's so much waste. I find myself pumping out way too much. But apart from that, I really like the flush. I just want to set my base a little bit. I'm going in with this Kiko Radiant Infusion Baked Powder in the shade one. This can make me go a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna kind of keep it to the perimeter. I mean, we'll see how it looks. Also, I still want to keep this glow. I was thinking about one day doing a video where I do a full day and don't set my face. I do have oily skin, so I thought that would be an interesting video. There's no harm in trying, and when in quarantine, no one's gonna be looking at me and seeing me look like an oily mess, apart from these four wolves. So I thought it's something I might do. I realized I've just put it all over my face. <laughs> my bad. It looks really good though. It's not too mattifying, you know. I've still got that luminosity to my skin, which I wanted, which is great. For under the eye setting, I've got this powder by W7. It's a really affordable brand in the UK. I don't know if it's elsewhere. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite liking my makeup at the moment. <laughs> but I wanna try this. It's the Bright Eyes and Dry Brightening and Setting Powder. I searched to dupe my Laura Mercier one, so try this and see what it does. I am kind of scared. Let me just feel it. Ooh. It does feel super fine, which is great. It does look like it's got a slight white cast and sparkle to it. Oh God. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on my finger, but it has like a sparkle to it. Um, you know what? We're gonna try it, see what it does. I hope I don't ruin my makeup. <laughs> we shall see. All right, let's just pat out any creasing, which there is not a lot with these two concealers. And let's set. Pressing it in, because I don't want to expose too much of that sparkle. 
this does say it's brightening, which is what the Laura Mercier one is as well, so it's kind of on the same vein. My under eyes aren't looking too hot with that on, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, not really brightened the way that I would like it to, and it's dulled it down so the coverage isn't as apparent. Yeah, my under eyes aren't looking that good right now. I may go in with a pressed powder to bring back some of that coverage. It's not the worst my under eyes have looked, but it's really not the best. If you guys can, can you kind of see? I mean, I know you didn't really have this close before, but you can just see a lot of my blueness coming through, and yeah. Not my favourite. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my collection pressed powder. This is a really good affordable powder. It is kind of fragrant. It's literally $1.99 and it's such a good powder. It smooths over the skin and leaves such a pretty finish. I think I want to do eyes now and then we'll come back and finish off the base. I feel like I've lost a lot of the blush that I applied, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I really want to play with these eyeshadow palettes now, so let's zoom you guys in and get on into it. Okay, so like I said, I have two of the palettes. I have Quartz Crush and Diamonds and Pearls, which is so beautiful. Okay, I cannot wait to display these. <laughs> get these babies open and see what we're dealing with. Oh my god, these are literally... Makeup Revolution popped off with these, okay? They are the most stunning packaging for eyeshadow palettes I've ever seen. They are a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be. They're only four shades, I guess, so it kind of makes sense. Especially for £10 each, like that's a lot for Makeup Revolution. Let's have a look. Ooh, oh my gosh. That gold shade? Oh my god. That looks like pressed metal. That's what that looks like. It looks insane. But this is the Diamonds and Pearls palette. And then this is the Quartz Crush one. Like, so beautiful. I am wearing red today, so I don't know what colors to go for. I mean, I guess I can always change. Who am I dressing up for? <laughs> one thing I will say is with these palettes, I definitely think they're an addition two other palettes because they don't really have a lot of blending shades, deepening shades, they as a whole can't really get a full look really. Especially with this one, it's kind of like three metallics and then one matte. Even though they are beautiful, it's definitely going to have to be accompanying something else. I'm going to start off with the Diamonds and Pearls palette. I'm going to go in with... Mm, they don't have shades on the back, so I'm going to go in with this nudie colour. see what we can make with this. Ooh, that's actually very pigmented. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I have no idea what look I'm doing today by the way, so I'm just playing around. <laughs> All I know is I was kind of feeling like a soft glam maybe. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I do really love this like dusty, mauve kind of tone. It's very pretty. I'm gonna get a big blendy sucker and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. This really soft, you know. That's the kick up that we have in the pan there. It is quite dusty. It's blended quite well and it's really pigmented, so I'm not mad. You know what I noticed the other day? I have a freckle on this eye. Right in there, can you see it? I'm thinking about maybe doing a halo eye just purely with this Diamonds and Pearls palette just because it looks like I could do that. So I'm gonna go in with this deepest shade right here. I'm just gonna add that into the inner and outer corner. I don't wanna go too deep with this because I still wanna keep it soft, but I'm just gonna add some depth. <laughs> Like I've gone a little bit too far in but here so I'm just taking my sponge just gonna tuck in some excess product in there remove my mistakes you know <laughs> I think it's important to show that we all make them I mean I'm not that I hide my mistakes by any means <laughs> I'm just going in with a brush to make sure it's still all blended if you see this eye over here looking a little bit funky it's because I dead ass just <laughs> Poke myself in the eye and my eye was watering. I managed to get tears up here. Uh, it was a little bit of a mess, so I just had to go clean everything up. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this gold shade, first of all. I hope it looks as pretty as it does in the pan on the lid. I don't really pick it up on the brush all that well. I'm using a synthetic brush with this just to see how it works and let's just press it on. Ooh. It's actually very glittery. It's very pretty, but it's more of a scattered glitter. So I might try foiling this. I'm gonna put a bit of setting spray over top and see if we can get more of that foiled look. Hello. It's not really doing that much. It is picking up a little bit, but just not as crazy as what's in the pan. Maybe if I try swiping. Ooh, okay. I think that's better. Pattern motions wasn't working. Swiping is better. Do this inner part as well. 
I love how I'm like, I just want to create a soft look today, a natural look today, and this is what I come up with. Girl, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Got a touch of fallout on my face, but nothing too crazy considering how glittery that shade is. But it has pretty much just all flicked off, which is great. I'm gonna quickly go do the other eye and then we'll do the center bit together. All right, so I just went ahead and finished this eye. So I kind of had a goal in mind. I needed an idea of where I was going with this. So this is what I came up with. So I'll just show you what I did. I'm using the pale metallic shade and I'm gonna go right in the center of the lid. This one is more of a metallic. It doesn't have that kind of sparkle to it like that gold does. But it is so gorgeous. Like look at that shine. Yes, halo eye, it looks so pretty. This is such a stunning metallic shade. This is my kind of metallic. It's really smooth on the lid and it reflects everything. It looks so gorgeous. Then I just went in with the tiniest amount of the gold shade with the original brush I used and I just blended them together slightly by tapping on the edges and you'll end up with something like this. This is such a pretty look. And considering this has come from a little quad eyeshadow palette that was 10 pounds, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> then for the lower lash line, I've just taken that first color that we used, the mauve nudie shade, and I just run it from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm gonna now add a nude color to my waterline. This is one that I use in pretty much all of my videos. It's the Revolution Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Nude. I just find these are so long wearing and also really pigmented and creamy. And they're about four pounds each, I think they're so good for the price and I'm also going to tight line with the same pencil but just in the brown color now I'm going to add a bit of mascara I'm going to use the L'Oreal Unlimited mascara this is pretty much all dried up pretty much all of my mascaras are dried up I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I really need to purchase some more but I want to make sure that I'm using all of the ones I've got up because I've got like eight mascaras that I need to use. This is a really good mascara. It does kind of give you those spider lash effect though. I don't know if that's because it's pretty much dried up. It could be. <laughs> but if you build this up as well, it's a very thick formula so it can kind of bump up a little. So just be careful with this one. But I do really like this mascara. I did a review on this like a few years ago, I think. <laughs> I may add some lashes once I'm done, I'm not quite sure, because it's like, even though I wanted it to be soft, it is not. <laughs> well, it's like soft glam, I guess. I, I love that term, don't I? I use it way too much. <laughs> now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use my Brow Goals pencil by Makeup Obsession in the shade Ash Brown, and then I'm also gonna use the Wow Brow by e.l.f. This is in the shade Natural Brown, and I'm just gonna do them real quick. Nothing too structured, just, you know, a little bit of a natural fluffy brow. My brows are due to be tinted again. I just do that at home, by the way. If you want a video on how I tint my brows, let me know. And I can certainly do a video on how I do it at home. I just have a little dyeing kit that I use. <laughs> yeah, just thumbs up the video and I'll certainly film that for you. Look at the difference, man. <laughs> that is a crazy difference just with a brow pencil. just go finish up this brow off camera and I'll be right back. I added a inner corner highlight. I just used the same shade we used on the center of the lid. It looks really pretty, but now we need to finish up the face, do the lips and everything. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys out a little. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna use this by MUA. It's the bronzed matte bronzing powder. It's in the shade Solar. I do believe they have different shades of this, which is great for such an affordable brand. It is quite hard pressed in there, so you do kind of have to brush your brush in a little bit, but it is a really blendable, beautiful bronzer. And I think this was like three pounds or maybe even cheaper than that. It is a little bit more on the warm tone than what I would usually go for, but it is a really pretty shade. And it's buildable, which is the most important thing. I mean, that's the most important thing in my eyes because I'm so fair. Okay, now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. I think I wanna go kind of neutral because of the eyes, they're not pulling too warm or too cool. They're kind of a bit in the middle. So I'm thinking this one by here, it looks a lot more orange on camera than what it actually is. Go in here. Oh, actually, I'll do my highlight first because then it'll blend together a little bit more. This video is gonna be all over the place. <laughs> I have a new highlighter to try, which is by NYX. It's their High Glass Highlighter. This is in the shade Moon Glow, which I think is really cute. It's a bit of a weird color. It's almost like a champagne-y gold. It's really pretty though, look at that shine. Ooh, that looks pretty. It feels really soft. It feels really nice in the pan. Okay, let's put it on my face. See if I can do a soft glow with this because I've attempted in like the past two videos for a soft glow and it has not worked. See how this sits on the skin? Okay, there's a little something there that looks pretty. I'm using a fluffier brush to not get too much product on my skin. It looks almost smoothing. Oh my gosh, that just melts into your skin. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. This is such a lovely formula. It just becomes one with your skin. Drugstore are really up in their game, especially when it comes to things like powders. Wow. I love this powder, oh my gosh. It does almost feel like a cream. I'm gonna kind of bring it 
on my cheek a little. I really want to have that glow today, so I'm just like kind of putting it everywhere. This is not emphasizing anything. I've even brought it a little further forward and it's not really emphasizing my pores, which is crazy. I love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm just gonna add a little bit on top of what we've already got in the inner corner. <laughs> because why not? I'm just gonna merge it all together with my blush, just kind of bring in a little bit of that color because I've pretty much lost all of that cream slash liquid blush. But you know what? It's fine because we need a little bit more with these eyes anyway. <laughs> all right, for lips, it's a little bit of a toss up. I'm either thinking Wet n Wild or I'm thinking Maybelline. Mm. Or oh, do I do a red? Or is it gonna be too much with these eyes? You know what? Screw it. Let's do a red. Uh, who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Primark lip liner in the shade Salsa and then I'm gonna use the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Morocco. I haven't used these in ages and they are really good. This is more of a blue based red liner but it should go well together. I think this matches my dress quite well. It'll just add a little bit of depth. I don't know how... Ooh, okay. I was gonna say I don't know if this is dried up, but no, it's still creamy. This is such a pretty shade. It reminds me of Lady Danger by MAC. Pretty, over the top, but pretty. All right, I'm gonna go put on some lashes. I've got some Demi Wispies, and then we'll see the final look together. Okay, be right back. All right, so I just threw on a pair of lashes. It's these by Ardell, the Demi Wispies. These are like the hardest lashes to put on, and they're like the most natural that I own. <laughs> can somebody please tell me where that is? My hair is doing the most, can it not? Wait, can it not? Here we go, here's the soft glam that I wanted to do that turned into a red lip and a soft smoky eye. <laughs> and I like it, it's a very pretty look. I love the eyeshadow, that glittery shade and the metallic shades, they're so pretty, I love them. Also my foundation's looking really good. I'm really digging this makeup and it's all affordable. But yeah, let me just zoom you guys back out so we can finish up this video. All right, this hair is not gonna conform okay so please ignore it i need to go do something with it but i just can't be bothered because i'm not going nowhere i've already done my makeup i can't be dealing with my hair as well <laughs> luckily we're at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed we played with some new we played with some old makeup and it was all really really affordable and no, i love the way my skin looks i love the way my eyes look i love the lip I love everything pretty much about it. There hasn't really been a dud apart from that under eye powder. I wasn't a fan of that one. The overall look really came together and I really love it, especially my skin. Look how like glowy it looks. Obsessed. <laughs> that highlight is insane. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you now. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd subscribed. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. And yeah, so until the next one, I shall see you. Bye guys. I'm from the... Well, I'm gonna add a few drops of this in on the back of my... It would come out. Just gonna add it... Tack of the earring again. Didn't have the best first impression of it, but I thought about maybe mixing in the I Heart... Remember to breathe, please. <laughs> this is a really good... Whoa, Jesus. I think, oh god, oh you gosh bless me, oh no, oh my god, late snaps daisy, <laughs> panicked and thought all of my mascara tons were done but luckily this mascara is so dried out it didn't, <laughs> I added a little bit of that, I added a little bit of the, what am I doing with my hands, top, it's goddamn packaging, I hate it, I hate it so much, breaks off into little pieces. Come on. I'm so hungry. I just want to finish this video. Please help me. Wrong way. <laughs>